When you're a photographer, nobody looks at you. They don't look past the lens. When they see that camera raise up, everything else disappears. Conversations stop. Lives are put on hold. All so they can plaster a big, fake smile over their boring, wasted lives. They smile, hoping this one snapshot in time will make them seem happier than they actually are. But once they run over to check the picture, they still only see themselves. No one cares about the person taking the picture. They only care about the person in it. I started taking pictures of people when I was about 11. My first camera was a Polaroid 690. My dad gave it to me after buying a newer model. That moment changed my life forever. This camera is so full of memories. It fills me with joy every time I see it resting on the shelf. The camera is very old and with age comes deterioration. But what I especially love about this camera is the lens. It's riddled with scratches, which gives the picture a sort of blurry effect. It makes the subject look like they're moving. I obviously don't use this camera for work. No, for work I use a Canon T4i with a 17 to 40 millimeter wide angle lens. For weddings, it's good to have a lens that can fit all members of the happy family, whose son or daughter is getting married. I use the Canon for studio work too usually for teens getting their graduation picture taken while wearing half of a nice outfit, sometimes for family Christmas cards used to show everyone in your little world just how truly happy and well-off you are. They're all just hoping I can edit out the blemishes that everyone else can see. Those are my two jobs. Both deal with taking pictures of people during the happiest moments of their lives. There are a few perks to being a wedding photographer, though. I'm not gonna lie, when the reception is on its heels and everyone is staggering off to their cars, sometimes a long bridesmaid just doesn't want the party to end. She's usually drunk and full of jealousy towards her best friend, who just married the man she never found. That's when I walk up with my little camera and ask if I can take her picture. The fun starts when we get back to my place. I throw her in my bed and tell her to take her dress off. I love when they obey. Sometimes they notice the handcuffs on the bedpost and give me an evil little grin. I love that grin. After I lock her arms and legs to the bed, I set up the tripod and lights. They always give me this nervous, confused look when I do this. I love that look. I get on top and gently start kissing her neck, my hand slowly sliding down the curve of her back and into my pocket. I like to use toys. I always ask if it's okay first, and when they agree, I slide the knife into their stomach. There's that confused look again. God, I love that look. I get out of frame and start snapping shots. The room is dark and they are writhing in pain, so each flash reveals a different position than before. A different picture than before. I usually can get about 300 shots before they bleed out. And once they do, I take out my Polaroid and snap a picture. The camera spits out the plastic image, which falls to the floor. <laughs> that one is for me. The scratched lens makes them look like they're still moving. I leave her in bed and walk into my office, taking the memory card from the Canon with me. I add her picture to the wall and slide the memory card into my computer. I need to edit these for the site tomorrow. I have a deadline to make, and my customers would be very upset if I missed it. Because... It's like I said, no one cares about the person taking the picture. They only care about the person in it. <laughs>